OGs, welcome. Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And before I get started, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy 2019. I wish you guys all the best, you know, health, wealth, love, happiness, and of course, you know, martial arts, fighting, skills. Okay, so let's dive in. In today's video, I wanna talk about Bruce Lee. Was he a real martial artist or just an actor? And so this, this was brought to my attention by Docina, Docia Plane, Docina Plane, one of the subscribers, one of the guys in the community, and he said uh, that maybe I should, you know, make a video about this. So I wasn't aware that there was actually this this, this argument going around on the internet whether Bruce was uh, for real or not. So I decided to make a video because I definitely have an opinion on it. I think, yes, definitely he was a martial artist. Now, let's define martial artist for one second. Well, martial artist to me is somebody who just practices martial arts. And of course, if we look at Bruce Lee and his body of work, not, not even looking at his movies, okay? But just looking at his background. So, he came to, he came to America, all right? He had some Wing Chun training. Uh, I, he didn't complete it, but you know he was very talented. So whatever he did pick up, like wow, he was very uh, good at. It. He was able to use it very well. Impressed a lot of people. Ended up opening up his own school. Uh, taught a whole bunch of Hollywood actors. Wrote a bunch of books. Even trained fighters. Right now, the trained fighters. I don't remember the names, but I'm sure. A lot of UOGs here in this community, you guys know. It might have been a it might have been a kickboxer named Joe Lewis, but he trained some like some big names, guys who were at the time considered like some real savages, right? And these guys were were champions and they had nothing good to say about Bruce. So to be able to, to, be able to train a fighter, right? And have that fighter give you credit and, and, and like really appreciate. Uh, your knowledge and your, your teachings, I mean, that's that's pretty legit, guys, you know? And of course himself, he was very into sparring. Uh, he considered sparring the acid test of if something works or not, right? So if it, if it didn't work in sparring, then it means like he would discard it and, you know, that's it. And then he would just keep whatever works. And of course he was a physical phenom. I think Bruce was ultra fast. I think he... You know, obviously the guy was super fast twitch, and then he was light. He was very um, uh, light, right? So, and he's super fast twitch. Plus, with all the the conditioning that he went through, he and the way he trained and stuff like that, man, it was he fast. I, I still, hmm, I don't know if there's anybody that I've seen as fast as him, but maybe you guys let me know. Okay, so now. He's a, he was an actor also, he was multifaceted, you know? So I think one thing that um, I had this conversation once with uh, Wimpire, right? And he was telling me, well, he likes to separate. Now, he, he said something to, to the effects of he likes to separate Bruce Lee, the martial artist, Bruce Lee, the philosopher, and Bruce Lee, the actor. And I think that's, that's, that's a very uh, smart thing to do because you know, it's not because he was an actor on screen that, oh yeah, you know, was he a real martial artist? Definitely he was. Was he able to fight? I think so, definitely. Was he, did he study martial arts? Of course, he had schools, he wrote books, he trained fighters, you know, and so of course he was a real martial artist. Now, can he fight? Yes, I think I just said that, <laughs> sorry. But he did, he did the whole sparring thing and this and that. And I think that if he would have been alive, if he would have not, Passed, uh, passed away that early, that young, then and he would have definitely been involved in MMA. Maybe not himself personally, but students. He would have trained guys and stuff like that, and I'm sure those guys would have been very successful. And um, even Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, who was a professional fighter, a world champion, I think it was in kickboxing or, yeah. He even said it himself. He said that Bruce would have done very well, very well in the in, in MMA, and even himself, he, Chuck Norris, well, would have done very well in MMA too, if that kind of shit existed back then. It didn't. And now sometimes I hear the argument about whether 
you know, how would he fare with um, these guys? Like these guys now, you know, like in, in that weight class, like Bruce Lee was, I think, about 130 pounds or stuff like that. So they were saying, oh, how would he fare against these guys? Like, we don't know. The truth is we don't know. Um, of course, Bruce Lee died before his time, right? He was only 32 when he died. And you got to remember that all these guys are that are that are doing very well right now in the UFC in, in like that weight class where Bruce would have been, they all learn, like, it's all on the shoulder of giants, right? They're not there, like, because they made shit up. They just invented, like, uh, you know, their grappling and jujitsu. No, they learn from other people. Uh, and they, they build it in on other people's success and knowledge to, 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 to be where they are now. So Bruce Lee, at the time, was revolutionary, too, in the way he fought. So not only was he a martial artist because he practiced and studied martial arts, but he was a very deep thinker. He came up, like this whole uh, MMA thing was basically his philosophy of cross training and and taking what works and what doesn't and, you know, just putting it all together to to to, uh, to create a system, that a fighting system that works. And then, of course, everybody's different. So, you know, Bruce Lee's expression. Uh, came in the form of uh, Jeet Kune Do, right? That was his, his the, what he named his his philosophy, his art, his expression of it. So I don't think it's like I mean that guy was a genius, you know. And these guys who are fighting now, I'm not, not not to say that they're not you know geniuses or whatever or as deep thinking as Bruce Lee, but I mean what they know right now and how they evolved, what how they were able to evolve into was was due to to all the stuff that Bruce and the Gracies and all these other guys and wrestling and all, you know, it, it all, so to make that argument, I, I don't, I don't think it's in a way respectful because the man's not here and given time, you know, I'm sure he would have been very involved in all of this and of course himself, you guys got to remember that a little, very, a uh, little known fact is that he was training grappling towards the end of his life. Like he did, he did, uh, he did judo with Gene LaBelle. He was learning submissions. He was learning throws. He was, you know, he was he was starting to develop like um, all these things that um, that are now very common, like in the UFC. You know, ground game, throwing, submission, and, and stuff like that. All right. So, what, what what was I going with this? In the end, he was more than a martial artist, in my opinion. And yes, acting was, he was also an actor. And he was an, acting, an actor second, he was a martial artist first. So, I don't know, I think, I think to me that's, that's enough to, uh, to convince me that, or well, convince me, to, to say, you know, to, to say that he was a real martial artist, you know? He was probably more of a martial artist than, than, um, no, I wouldn't say more martial artists, guys. Sorry, I would say he he's a very a martial artist was really who he was, and then acting was what he did, um, you know, to to make a living and also to spread spread martial arts, you know, through mass media. And that was mass media in the time, guys. Like you guys got to remember, there was no fucking internet back then. There was no YouTube. Like the only way. Uh, and, and this was complicated to even get into it was radio, newspaper, and TV, and movies. That's it. So Bruce like spread all of this back in those days. Like his idea, he, he wanted to spread, you know, like his his expression of 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 his mar his martial arts, his expression of martial arts, his philosophy by you know by movies, by by mass media of that time. So he was able to do that. So that was, that was crazy in itself. So that, that's, that, that would speak to his abilities as an actor, right? And of course, his martial arts was his martial arts, which um, also like it was, it was never seen before. What he did on screen was, was fucking nuts compared to what everybody else was doing. Like it was just crazy. It was completely new back then, right? 
like of course I wasn't alive back then, but as when I, I grew up, I was born in 79, like Bruce passed in 72, if I'm not mistaken. So, but I watched his movies and stuff like that. So, and, and wow, wow. Like I can even imagine now, like there was nothing back then, man. like there was nothing um, in terms of, you know, social media and shit like that. So like, well, for him to be able to do that back then, to think the way he fought, to, to, to break all these barriers down, man, the, the man was, was to me more than a, more than a martial artist. Yes, a martial artist, but wow, he was a, a, um, a pioneer, a trendsetter, like somebody who, who broke the rules. And he did like one of the one of the biggest rules he broke, and I think that's why he was getting challenged <laughs> yeah, uh, all the time. You know, was that like he was teaching you know Chinese martial arts to to non Chinese, which you know the Chinese people back then was a big secret. They didn't want to blah blah blah. And he essentially told them, "Go fuck yourself. I'll teach whoever the fuck I want to teach." You know, and then of course he got into scraps and shit like that. And and you know that was I think a bit the basis of. Um, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. That was like a movie made of Bruce Lee, but a long time ago. Not the most recent one, uh, which I haven't watched yet, but I heard it wasn't good. Anyways, whatever. So all this to say is that the man was a martial artist. The man was also a philosopher. And the man was also an actor. And he managed to integrate that and bring all of this out into the world. So... Of course, martial arts. So one last thing I want to say about this is that I don't think it's fair to, to, to ask the question, would he have you know, uh, been able to, to, to hack it in the UFC if, boom, all of a sudden he, he was alive today? Well, if he was alive today, first of all, he would be fucking old. But if he was alive today, let's say, and magically he was at that stage in his life, you'd still have to give him time to prepare. And as smart as this guy was, let's say you tell him, okay, Bruce, uh, you're alive. We brought you back from the dead. You're 32 years old now, right? Um, so we want you to fight whoever it is, the champion of his division. I don't even know anymore. Uh, is it, is it, it's not Mighty Mouse. It's because he lost recently, but you know, Bruce Lee would have analyzed all of that and he would have, well, given enough time to catch up, right? With all the everything that all, all, of, uh, all of the evolution of martial arts like inside the cage in MMA, give him enough time, he would have, um, he would have caught up and it would have been definitely interesting to see, to say the least. And you guys gotta remember also, like when people, you know, talk about if the man could fight or not and stuff like that, of course he didn't fight professionally, but like he definitely knew, like, Guy, fighters were impressed with like the fighters of his of his time were impressed with, like had him as a trainer he trained them for fights so you can't train somebody if you don't know what the hell you're talking about or if you can't really fight like you know he really knew what he was about uh, he knew he really knew what he was talking about and you guys can see it in the videos how fast this guy was like it's something special even today when you look at that film like you get the impression that it's fucking, um, it's sped up, but it's not. You see him throwing that kick and it's, it's actually like normal speed, but you can hardly see it. You gotta like slow it the fuck down. And there's even a story where um, when he was filming, when he was making the Green Hornet, right? For those of you guys who don't know, like he was so fucking fast, like they had to slow down the film because they would film him and then they'd be like, whoa, it was just a blur because he would just kick this guy, kick this guy, kick this guy, punch that guy, break this, break that, and boom. And then everyone was like, oh, what the fuck, you know? So anyways, that's it. Um, let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that, uh, do you agree that he would have performed well if, you know, like I said, if he just magically appeared, give it a time, or if you don't, or whatever, you know? And uh, once again, in this channel, like, I respect everybody's opinion, and as long as you, you elaborate on it, right? And of course, keeping it respectful so that in the comment section below and stuff like that, it doesn't become uh, a free-for-all like fucking jungle and people are just like, you know, cussing each other out and, and talking shit, right? Keep it clean and so that we can, well, clean in a sense, respectful, but you guys can still curse, obviously, guys. It's no big deal to me, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so let me know what you think in the comments. 
And of course, uh, if you have it already, like and subscribe. And of course, sh sharing is caring, helps to grow the channel. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.